Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. This is going to be a new thing for the Brixie YouTube channel. We're doing some vlogs, baby. Yeah, Lego Room vlogs. So these vlogs will be 100% Lego related. Things that we're doing in the Lego Room, whether it's moving things around, repositioning shelves, cleaning things up, reviewing sets, brief overviews, changing up the city, anything having to do with Lego and what I do in a day is gonna be vlogged on this new ongoing series, so check it out. I just finished reviewing this set here. This thing is really cool. You guys probably saw my more comprehensive review on it, but wow, the minifigures are top top of the notch, especially M-O-D-O-K, -O -O which is like some sort of mechanized madman killing machine or something like that, pretty sweet. And that's from the uh, Avengers Helicarrier set. Pretty sweet little set, I love it. Also on my build table right now are my maddening, crazy, disgusting desk. Yeah, it's not too bad. We've got the uh, Winnie the Pooh set that I recently built and I gotta place that into the uh, campground over there. I'll probably be doing a video on that relatively soon within the next few days. And then I've got this set which is half built right now and actually comes with two different instruction manuals. This is set 10213 which is the shuttle adventure. And that's manual number one built there. It's from 2010, and essentially all the parts and pieces for it are just sort of scattered all over right here, eh? Nah, it's sort of a, it's sort of something that needs to be fixed up. Hopefully I can uh, get that built today and review that thing as well. I don't know, throughout this video, I might like take my pants off, throw on a Speedo like this guy here and, and have a party. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that, don't worry about it. But the Lego room is somewhat of a mess and it's, it's pretty brutal. I got stuff sort of everywhere right now. You know, there's like, Lego sets just sort of chilling here below the whiteboard. I've I've got to update the whiteboard and store all this stuff away. And recently, actually earlier today, it's been a busy day of video making. I placed the costume shop and I did this. I'm sure you've already watched that video. Just looks really cool. Still need to acquire the parts to change out that severed head though because that is pretty weird. And just my desk in general right now is just sort of a... It's like a bomb went off. A Lego bomb though, so... That's okay, I'm happy when Lego bombs go off because that means there's Lego everywhere, so it's not really the end of the world. Also, check this out. I made this recently. I don't know if I'm going to make a video on it, but here it is. This is the periodic table, and I actually built a custom Lego frame for it. So I was had a promo code for these, but the promo code is now expired. But I was thinking, how can I frame this thing? And then I got thinking to myself, you know what? We should frame it using Lego bricks. I'll show you that right now. So there you go, I popped the periodic table out so I can show you exactly how I did it. So if you have one and you have some spare parts laying around, why not? So this here has a bottom which is three studs. Come on camera, you're making me look silly. There we go. Three studs. So it's essentially two by bricks, one layer of those, and then one layer of one by bricks. And then the top layer above that is actually a layer of two by bricks. You can't really see it because it's black on black, but you see how oh, there's like a groove there and that's what the frame will actually sit on and then I tiled it all off. So these two by bricks on the top there, just got to make sure that they interlock over top of your seam. And then what I did was I actually had to put a jumper right here on the top. Sorry, not a jumper, but a snot brick. And I also did that on the bottom right here as well because the advent calendar itself is exactly a stud dimension from side to side, but not from top to bottom. And then it just sort of squeezes in there, just like that there. So those snot bricks will actually center it vertically in the frame, and then horizontally, it's actually a perfect fit. Then I chose to top my two by bricks uh, with tiles in the interior, and then actually, you'll see that this pattern repeats itself. So pink, blue, blue, yellow, yellow, green, blue, and then you'll see over here it repeats itself, pink, blue, blue, all the way along. And it's going to be easy to frame, or easy to hang, I should say, because there's some give on the bottom, so I just got to pop two nails on the wall, make sure they're level, and then I'm going to hang that right here. I've still got a whack of stuff to hang on this wall. I'm just going to continue filming vlog like this, and I'd imagine maybe this whole area will be cleaned up and, and put away. Sorry that the AV quality isn't going to be as good in these vlogs. I'm just using my phone as I don't feel like turning or powering up and powering off my mics all the time and powering up my GoPro all the time. So I'm just going to film this uh, using uh, my phone. But yeah, I'm probably going to clean all this stuff up and, and hang all that stuff on the wall behind me because there's a lot more 
than just that. But I don't really know where this vlog is going. Let's just have some Lego vloggy fun. Classic Brixie style. Be yourself, folks. So I just got home from the uh, Lego store and also I went to Costco, picked up a new webcam. Can't wait to see how that goes, see if that works out well for us. When we were at the Lego store, I picked up a bunch of these. These are the antennas in reddish brown. And then a bunch of these uh, leaf elements right here, or stem elements, I guess, that you can make little sapling trees out of. And I couldn't believe it. While they were on the wall, uh, they also had something pretty special, which... Or while I was looking at the wall, they had these, which are pretty neat. Rarely see those. Also, I got another carrot promo. So that worked out. That was a good little trip for sure. And I've got to clean up here because I'm getting ready to build that spaceship over there. In order to clean up, I've got to find a home for that. I was thinking of maybe doing some shelf rearranging here. I've got the helicarrier, that one, like the UCS version. And then other Marvel stuff that I have as well. Over here, I think. Oh, where did they go? Well, right here, these two jets. So the Quinjet and the Stark Jet. So I could make a little Marvel shelf somewhere. Maybe even like on the pack system. And display all of those things together. I've always wanted to bump that up. It's, it's sort of hidden down there. But where am I going to fit it? Maybe up here? Maybe move Ewok Village down? Move Ewok Village up top, maybe? I don't know. There's something I've got to figure out there. And we'll figure this out in this vlog as well. Yeah, we'll do lots of stuff in this vlog. I'm liking it. We'll just like touch on what we do throughout the week and look at all the changes and have a look at all the different stuff in the Lego room. Perfect spot for the uh, periodic table for sure. Yeah, I'm going to get this all cleaned up. I'm going to set up the new webcam and go from there. I started live streaming in uh, 13 minutes. So I just threw all this stuff aside. Oh no, that's not where I wanted to put it. But I got to get this webcam set up in the next 13 minutes. I've got to rush to get this done here. I'm always in a rush. I'm always doing something, man. I'm always just running around. It's funny. It's 10.30 at night. I just finished building the Space Shuttle Adventure. That was a lot of fun. And we just finished making this new Memorino shirt, which is pretty cool. I'm going to start making more apparel designs because that's pretty cool. Hey, the O is my logo. And I'm going to sign off for the night here. <laughs> Leaving it a mess. Good night. All right, it's the next morning here. So I guess the first thing I'm going to clean up is all of these sets right here underneath my whiteboard. Thank you so much, Memorinos. Let's get those filed away. Brick Monkey sent me more of these ticket tiles here, so I've got to swap them all out. Let's get that done as well. Much better. And building backlog updated. And I've left this one over here because I'm probably going to build it this weekend. And I think that one's worthy of an unboxing video. And also I want to unbox it not live because I heard it's only divided into about four bags and it's got 3,152 pieces. It's like three or four bags. So I'd like to unbox it, crack the first bag open, organize the parts before we get live building. I just feel like that's the way to do it maybe. Then I'd like to unbox it and see what's inside and make a video on it just because it's pretty special. It's a pretty special set for sure. It's coming along here, coming along. Just got to get the stinking Avengers off the ground. I'm going to put all these pab cups that I bought the other day for the saplings in here. And this is actually the remainder of the Disney castle in here. So I've got to sort that out and get this place cleaned up. This is some of the Coliseum in which we have to build. I don't know what my hat's doing there. <laughs> I just got to get this place cleaned up here ASAP. It's going to transform right away. Also, I'm going to talk to the wife and we're going to hang some stuff on the wall today as well. The periodic table, maybe the Star Wars sign here. Uh, for sure, this Brixie sign over here. Actually, that Star Wars sign might go on the, uh, the, stair the staircase area. For sure, this Brixy thing up there, this thing here, and this clock as well. It's all going to get hung on this wall today, I think. Holy mother of pearl. <laughs> that is a lot. By the beard of Zeus. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of saplings. 
So because I'm getting ready to hang stuff today, I figured I'd better build my own Lego sign. Because that'll look really snazzy right back there. Now we're ready to hang art. There we go. Got our Lego logo made. Just unboxed the Super Star Destroyer here. Came in four boxes. Instruction manual. All that jazz. Pretty sweet. We're sitting here plotting things out, getting ready to hang them. It's a lot of stuff to coordinate. Like a lot of things going on this wall here, so I've got to give it some thought, right? And you're still waiting for that uh, 100k play button to get here. I think we've come up with a pretty good plan, though. We hung the Lego sign, but I'm going to wait to do the other things. I've got to move this one over, put the 100k one above it, and then put the Brixie mantle centered with the old Brixie logo below it, and then put the 100k plaque on top of that when it arrives. Also over here, we're gonna put that Lego uh, Brixie sign below the Lego sign, right? So we got that, the Brixie logo thing. The only thing that's not gonna make it there is actually the periodic table. I'm gonna put that on a different wall. Also this decal here, or decal, is gonna go right here eventually as well. And by eventually, I mean sometime in this video here, but I wanna go get the frame from, uh, before I continue with that project, I'm going to get the frame from Michael's just so we can perfectly get all the stuff uh, go in there how we want it. Also, this is the wall that I was referring to for the periodic table. I'm just going to put it there. I literally will never use that color chart. It's just going to look good over here with all this miscellaneous art stuff is. Makes sense. I want to keep the other area over there more for like my achievements and stuff. And the periodic table, I wouldn't say is an achievement by no means. This morning I decided to continue the journey of the Colosseum and we built this little panel right here. So we tried something a little bit different tonight actually. Uh, we were looking at the party boat and Jose and I built something together, found it. The Friends Rescue Mission Boat? Yes. Yeah, that one there. And also I built some of these uh, trees as well. So it was a good time. Narwhal. Narwhal. I guess Jose didn't like how the helicarrier was on the ground, so she found the perfect spot for it right there on top of the train station. And there's all the minifigs getting gas at the Octane gas station. Yesterday I went to uh, Memory Express and I bought this mount here for this monitor, so that's pretty cool. And now my neck doesn't hurt as much. Beauty. Great day today. Built a Super Star Destroyer for six hours. Look at that greebling. Wow. Earlier in this video here, I was telling you how I wanted to revise the shelf layout and sort of shuffle some sets around. And I've been thinking about it over the last few days. This video was filmed over a few days, of course. And I realized that that project is a lot bigger than what I'm anticipating because we have a big backlog. Also, there's a lot of cool stuff that's coming out in the very near future, such as the new uh, space shuttle, the Vader helmet, scout trooper, trooper helmet, the carnage mask, all that different stuff, the Batman uh, cowl, all sorts of cool stuff always coming out. And I'm gonna have to make space for that. And I'm starting to develop a plan that's going to change the Lego city and also change the entire look of the shelves. There's actually a lot of room on the shelves. Most of it's up top and on the bottom. So I figure I'm gonna cycle some stuff uh, around on the shelving just to make more space because there's a lot of things that we gotta try and fit on there, including the Super Star Destroyer, uh, which I've decided can't go on the top. It's gotta to go low because of all the greebling on the tops of the, of the ship. So I'm gonna leave the shelving project for another day, but I'm really excited for that. That's gonna be another upload coming out here on the Brixie YouTube channel. All right, so we've got all the stuff hung now. We've got the 48 by 48 stud Lego logo. The awesome custom Brixie sign right there. That's beside the original Brixie lettering. Above that is the mantle from the Amigos, which will hold the 100K plaque. Then we've got our 50K lettering with the, sorry, our 50K letter with the awesome matting from the wrapping paper in which the gift came, and Jose made that beautiful. And then the 100K letter right below. We have wrapping paper to do matting on that as well, and we do plan on doing that. I guess I gotta get my magic eraser there to get rid of that mark right here on the wall. 
I've also hung a couple other things here in the Lego room as well. Above my desk, beside the brick separator art that my wife uh, made using a shadow box, we have a nice decal or decal, however you want to say it. And that's actually uh, was printed by my buddy Kevin. So thank you so much, Kevin. It's looking great there. In addition to that, we also hung the periodic table right here. So in this section of the Lego room. The only thing I have to hang now is this Star Wars sign. That's going to go on the stairs going up out of the Lego room where I have a bunch of other stuff that I need to hang as well. Yeah, that's that stuff there that's been hanging out since October, essentially. And now thinking of it, we're going to get on that uh, Harry Potter art and also the Iron Man art right away here to fill, the, fill up this area. And hopefully we'll get some sort of Disney art for there as well. So the walls are filling up here in the Lego room. The next thing I'm going to be working on is actually the platform that's going underneath the water there for underwater scene. And I've actually done some cleaning up here in the Lego room, but it's still a little bit of a mess. It seems like we're, we're always growing and changing, and then that causes mess. But a lot better than it was when we started this vlog style video. And I think that's about it for today. It's now Sunday morning, and I'm getting lots of stuff done. And I'll continue vlogging. I hope you like the new vlog style videos coming out here on uh, the Brixie YouTube channel. Where we're just going to vlog what we do throughout the week. If you guys like it. Remember to smash that thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.